Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap. Wow, wow, how crazy this office looks with green lights now with my new camera, right? Like, I just remember how bad it used to look when I had the green light on. Now it looks amazing. Anyway, today was Tuesday, the uh, 13th of August, 2024. A good variety day of content, all gameplay today. Uh, first of all, on today's Level 1 podcast, I had many updates, including an update on uh, the possibility of me doing something with Mr. Medicare. Um some updates on DSP throwback, of which I made some errors last night with, with uploading. An update on the fact that I'm going to be doing clips semi-regularly on my channels as long as I have time to do it. Uh, some new stories and a lot. So it was a very packed podcast this morning. If you didn't check it out, do. But also know that I will be clipping the important parts um, and putting them up here on the channel. So then, after that, we did Nintendo World Championships NES Edition for the first stream. Uh, first of all, without spoiling... I got my absolute best placing ever in one of the world championship runs. You know, each week you have to do uh, five stages and you compare yourself to everyone else in the world on how well you did. And let me just tell you, it was insanely good. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil it yet because I'm actually going to clip it later and put it up as part of my clips for the day. And I want people to check out the clip. But if you haven't seen it yet, you could watch the Nintendo World Championships footage right now. It's at the very first part from today, which I think was part... Part eight or part nine? I think part nine. <coughs> so right at the beginning, you'll see it. Um, and then we did many more challenges today. We're actually getting to the much harder ones now, like the the hard master level ones for what, many of these games. Um, of which surprisingly, I did pretty good. I would say overall today, I still did decently, even though some of these games like Kid Icarus control really poorly. Um, but it was fun. Um, and uh, had a good audience here. We actually had extra people from Kino Casino who are now becoming regulars, and I really appreciate that. Any of you who are coming by and checking out my stuff. Uh, late stream tonight was Street Fighter Six, and this was all over the place. First of all, first task was to get Blanca to master. Even with a bunch of gatekeeping trolls sitting around, basically coming in with clone accounts, trying to block me from getting master, it only took me about an hour, and I hit master with Blanca, and after that, I was like, well, I'm either going to play with Honda, who's stuck at three-star diamond, and I want to get him leveled up to master, or I can mess around with Lily and Zangief. And I, I, I basically admitted to my audience, I don't think I'm going to be playing regularly with Lily, and Zang Lily or Zangief. Lily is just not good anymore. For year one, she was decent. Now she's just terrible. Uh, and Zangief, even though he's better now, I'm just not feeling him. Like, I, I'll probably toss him out every once in a while as a random match and stuff, but I just don't feel like the grind to master is worth it with him. So I did play some matches. I played with Lily. Literally, even the scrubs know how to beat Lily now. And I'm rusty with her. It's just not fun to play with her anymore. So I got a really bad placement. And I'm like, I'm just not going to play with her anymore. And I'm serious, too. Like, I just don't think I should waste time. There's so many better characters in the game that are fun to play. She's lost her luster as a fun character because she just gets trounced by everyone. So I think I'm done with Lily. Zangi sucks because I was on pace <clears throat> to get five-star diamond. Then I had really bad luck at the end. And a bunch of uh of counter matches and i lost the last two so they put me in the three star diamond i'm like oh fuck this so i was upset i mean obviously i'm better with zangief than lily but i was like well now that i've done all of that i feel like i wasted my night so i said fuck this i'm still gonna keep playing and i switched to honda and i then proceeded with honda to take him an entire level from three to four star diamond because i got a 10 win streak in a row i was unstoppable spanking people left right up and down with honda Good combos, good tactics. Even though I was making mistakes, I was still playing well. And uh, it went really good. So basically, Blanca was two thumbs up good stuff. Lily was two thumbs down full of rage. Zangief was kind of eh, not great. But then Honda was like outstanding butt spankings of the enemies. So certainly I hope that you guys enjoy uh, the content that I, I did today. <coughs> and overnight, there's going to be some highlights. I'm going to upload one highlight for the podcast and one highlight for my gameplay today, overnight is clips on the channel for you guys to check out after the current footage goes live. So I'm going to start uploading right now, and then I'm going to start getting those clips going. Okay? Um, tomorrow, final consecutive streaming day of the week. This is a shorter week for me, only five days. And it's a double PC day. Just listen to what we're going to be doing. It's fun. First of all, first stream, level one podcast, recapping news and anything else that's going on. And <clears throat> I'll be doing... Um, a benchmark test for Black Myth Wukong. It was released today on Steam where you could download this benchmark test and run it and you could see how your system needs to configure to run the game well. I'm excited to see how well this game will run. So I'm going to do that first and then we're going to check out the System Shock remake 
which was donated by a viewer. We're going to play it for the first time on my PC. See how it looks. See what it's all about. It's the, the game that came before Precursor, I think it's called. Uh, the game before uh, Bioshock and inspired Bioshock. Well, I love Bioshock. So you got to think that System Shock's probably good too, right? So that's the first stream. And tomorrow night on the late stream, Stardew Valley Chill Fun to end the streaming week. Okay? Thank you all for a great streaming day. Thank you for your support. Tomorrow's my final day of the week. Make it happen. Let's have a great one. Everyone have a good night. See you tomorrow. Peace out.